Are Kafka and WebSockets the same thing? A lot of you guys asked me this on my last video, are they the same thing? No, they're not, but they are often used in tandem with one another. Let's take a look at how this might work in a system. And we'll take a look at this in the context of the sports betting app like I've talked about in my other videos. So Kafka is an event streaming pub sub system. Basically what that means is that you have a producer which will send data to various topics. Then a consumer will retrieve data from those various topics. If you want to take a deeper dive on how Kafka Kafka works. There's a great resource online. I can't remember what it's called, but it equates Kafka with basically a river with various streams coming from that river. If someone knows what I'm talking about and could mention that resource in the comments, I'd appreciate that. So these consumers pick up data from various topics and forward that data to the WebSocket server, which then pushes data to the WebSocket clients connected in real time. So in a sports betting system, you basically have some sort of like backend operational team that's basically calculating odds in real time based on what's happening in various leagues, tournaments, matches, these odds are the data which gets sent through the Kafka producer to a topic. And then the consumer references the odds topic to grab these real-time odds updates and forward them through the WebSocket connection to the UI so that users have the most up-to-date odds when they're betting. Now, something interesting to note is that often when these sports betting companies are just starting out, they probably don't have the resources yet to have their own odds creation team. So this entire chunk of work is probably just some other company. We call this a third-party vendor and that gets referenced. If you like these sort of bite-sized system thinking type videos, definitely give me a follow and I'll see you in the next one.